Okay, uh, here we are back again with more Greedfall. And, um, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do next, actually. What's this? This is a side quest. Right. <laughs> Let's do that next. Let's do that next. I I like the environments. Yes. Um I, I, I like the environments quite a bit so far. Here's our merchant that we have to negotiate with, I suppose. Good day, my lady. How might I be of service? You can start by explaining to me why you refuse to honor the orders agreed upon with the guard. There's been a misunderstanding, madam. Of course we're ready to honor the orders. Okay. In fact, I've already had a word with your master at arms. They're asking that we pay again, despite having already paid. It's just that the price has gone up since. I've nothing to do with it. This is inadmissible. If you agree on a sum, you need to honor that agreement. I'm sorry, madam. I'm just an agent, and I'm only obeying orders. Uh, okay. Why don't we go and solicit other suppliers, Kurt? When we've already paid for the merchandise. If these thieves agree to reimburse the original payment, it's what we do immediately. And do know, in the future, we won't be shopping with them. Well, I should think not. Uh-huh. All right. Your master has apparently asked you to demand a second payment for this merchandise. That's right. He told me that their attendant seemed to be hiding something when he passed the order. And so he must have thought the guard would end up paying in the end whatever he asked for. Hmm. I'll be damned. And I'm the one they've sent to settle the affair. Sorry, Captain. It's nothing personal. I'm only following orders. Following That's orders. what they all say. Yeah, we hear you. Makes one wonder which one of the two of us is a coin guard. This whole story sounds suspicious and stinks of a scandal. You were demanding a second payment, but refused to reimburse the one that was already made. I'm not the one demanding nor refusing. It's my master. This stubborn fool is pushing me to madness. You understand now why I'm asking for your help? Hmm. Well... I, I don't know if I can if I have I money for a bribe, but an unofficial arrangement. You were clearly the apprentice of a demanding master who expects you to follow orders without raising a brow. Life in your shoes can't be easy. Perhaps we could help you take the weight off your feet. And what would I have to do in exchange? If I give you the merchandise, my master will still demand the price you're supposed to pay me. Not if you were robbed. By pure chance. I mean it could happen to anyone. What if the guards leave a little extra bonus in your pocket as you look away? And while you're making yourself busy elsewhere, some of my men break in and collect their merchandise. You'll just have to make a devastated, oh, the dastardly boldness of him face in front of your master, and we're done. And the bonus will be how much? Well, you won't be retiring with it. Oh, all right, done, I'm with you. As soon as I've received my bonus, my eyes will grow weary-like. Ah, uh, not just yet. You'll get your bonus afterwards. The guard has already been taken once by your promises. Yeah, that well, seems fair. You can't hold it against me for trying. <laughs> Very well. Yeah. All for you meant to come. You're certainly honoring your new title. Bravo! The quartermaster must be expecting us. Okay. Where's that? Sort of like behind me. To my help. And death to the uh, that's right. This is my to my help. And death to the others. Whoa. 
Things are about to get dicey. You're running out of it. Did you drink a pot? To my help! And death to the others! You're running out of energy! Drink a potion! Move away! Things are about to get dicey! Okay. Um where am I at? Oh, I can climb over stuff. That's good to know. I can't jump per se, but I can climb over certain things. Potions, you magic, this miraculous opportunity. Your time is precious, magical medicine. Hours, but what you are about to discover could save your life. All right, You'll find all you need in our selection, whatever you need to be the talk of all. Serene. Welcome, it's such a pleasure to see you again. Is it? Have you seen anything to your liking? What might I help you with? Uh Hmm I have 11 coins. That's good to know. For your visit. See you soon. Just thought it'd be interesting to look and see what kinds of stuff they have for sale. Anyway, let's go here. Hello, Quartermaster. Lady Desade, I presume. Yes. It is an honor to make your acquaintance. Captain, you set sail soon. Have you seen to our little business? Yes. We were finally able to recover your merchandise. Excellent news. I'm afraid, though, that your mission isn't completely finished, Kurt. Oh? Blast me. I'm a captain, not an errand boy. The commander was quite explicit. Very well. What do I need to do? The merchandise that you obtained needs to be sent to Tier 3D as soon as possible. But the Port Authority formalities for shipping take an eternity to wade through. And we've already lost quite a bit of time with this dishonest merchant. Are you blatantly asking us to smuggle this merchandise and contraband? I would never ask you to do such a thing, Your Excellency. <laughs> ah, but you don't mind asking that of Kurt? <laughs> well, well yeah. if he finds an alternative solution that is less uh, illegal, uh, that would be fine. The method matters not. But this cargo must reach the Isle on the next ship. Marvelous. That important, huh? Well, then, I await your return with utmost impatience. I'm certain you shall do what's required. Okay. Greenblood, do you need something? No. <laughs> I must leave you.
Okay. Well, let's see here. Suppose to the right, and then to the right again. So there's clearly like a plague of some kind going around here. Um, bubonic or otherwise. A character. There's a character over here. Okay. Old warehouses. Oh yeah, sure, sure. In the port. Okay. Yeah, um, so like the some of the like the 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 sync, the audio sync, uh, and face and facial animations and stuff, not the greatest. But uh also, I mean, here's a relatively low budget Lively there, game, lads and lasses. So. I promised the merchants and their prince would be off before the tide. You man, carry that properly. That porcelain is worth more than your life. Uh, Some children we'd been best to refuse. Captain Vasco. And you are? I'm de Sarde, the prince's niece. If all is in order, we will soon be embarking on your boat. It's a ship. Not a boat. <laughs> okay. Apologies. Apologies for my asking, but the young governor isn't with you. He didn't come home this morning. I need to find him before departure. I hope nothing's happened to him or he hasn't changed his mind. The tide does not wait. Perhaps he simply celebrated his imminent departure with a little too much enthusiasm. Is everything ready? We're short a crew member. The cabin boy is missing. But have no fear, we will leave without him if he does not present himself before the tide. Is he an important member of the crew? We don't need him for sailing or navigation. He's only a cabin boy. He must have simply had a bit too much to drink in celebrating his departure. Like another I know. I doubt that Jonas was never one to fancy drink. And it's been two days since last he was seen. No, I fear something bad has happened to him. Might I ask you, if you hear anything, could you report it to me? I would like to set sail with a clear mind. Um... Yeah? When did you see your cabin boy for the last time? It's been two days since I've had any news at all. It wasn't out of the ordinary until this morning. My men have free shore leave when we're at dock, but the day of departure, every able-bodied sailor must be present on the ship. Okay. Does the boy know anyone in Serene? Other than fellow Norts, you mean? I don't think so, but it's difficult to be sure. Okay. This Jonas, does he have any close friends amongst the crew? In tradition, we are all members of the same family. That's fair, but... But, yes. There would be Flavio and Laura. Might I have a word with them? As you wish. You'll find them over there, in port. Okay. Have you seen anyone wandering about? Suspicious looking. Maybe clandestine passengers. Take a look around. There are far too many comings and goings to spot possible stowaways. As long as they don't try and get on my ship, I pay no attention to them. That said... We did catch ourselves a smuggler just a while ago. Oh, a yeah? Smuggler? Maybe he could be of some use. Where could I find him? In the port jails. Not far from the warehouses. Why I ask you, why the sudden interest in smugglers and the odd stowaway? Hmm. I'm not sure I trust you yet. Nothing to bother yourself about. I'm just curious. 
You wouldn't, by the sheerest of coincidences, be on the trail of a couple of heretics, Your Excellency. Oh dear. The same a couple of the ambassadors of Teleme's men have been looking for nigh on two days. And so you know about that? Of course. The Cardinal's henchmen are hard to miss, even in a crowd. And they were making quite a fuss, hoping we would cave in and help them in their hunt. Feel free to carry out your own investigation, but you'll end up with the same answers. The port brigs, just like the warehouses, are property of the Nords. No one else may enter. Okay. Uh, let's ask about Constantine. You haven't heard anything about my cousin by chance, have you? To be honest, we were hoping to find him here. Did you say he was intending on celebrating his departure? Yeah. My men spoke of a rather animated party that went down at the Coin Tavern, but I haven't heard anything else. That isn't the safest place in the city. I hope nothing has happened to him. Let's go and find him. Thank you, Captain. Happy to be of some help. Right. Now the merchandise. I have a favor to ask before we leave. I'm all ears. We would like to load some merchandise into your ship's hold. Impossible. You're too late for that. All merchandise must be registered at the Port Authority. And the formalities are long. So... Unless you're asking me to turn smuggler and hide contraband on my vessel. I wouldn't go that far. We're only talking about a few crates, after all. Well then, they'll have to wait. The next ship for New Serene leaves in a month. Hellfire. If that shipment doesn't leave today, the commander will have my hide. <sighs> Captain, I understand your position, but isn't there some way we can get these crates on board? I doubt it. Even if I wanted to help you, my quartermaster is a half-crazed bridge troll. I hope he doesn't He's mean that literally. That a gang of ruffians want to use my ship to pass contraband over to Tier for D. He's placed guards where our cargo is being held before being loaded. All that is not in the warehouse and noted on the manifest will be left on the docks. Sorry, but your crates are going to have to wait until the next ship sets sail. Sorry, Kurt. At least we tried. The commander is going to have my head. Uh, I'm sure that's what he wants. You're going to be on the island task. with me. In that case, we're going to have to dock to the manifest ourselves. It must be at the harbor master's office. Are you sure you should be talking about that right in front of the Okay, sure. Anyway, let's ask about the knots. Who are the knots? Please tell, tell me. me a little about your guild. Please. We are masters of the ocean. They're just the sailors Ocean's basically. Sail no others dare. Okay. Thanks to your magic, so I've heard. How do you become a Nort? Our magic, yes, uh, that only the Norts master. Ah, uh, magic. Your question. Any child born on one of our ships is seaborn. He is a Nort from birth. Others are sea gifted, joining the Norts for different reasons, often from a young age. It's how the guild is made and maintains its numbers. Okay, tell me about this port that what we're do now. You think of our port. Are you referring to this one? It is the biggest high seas port on the continent. Thanks to your prince, even though it remains part of your city, it holds a particular status for us Norts. Certain zones are owned completely by us, and maritime law holds office. It's a good port. Were it not for the Malachor, it would be a pleasant place to dock. Okay, I don't know what that is, but sure, let's ask about Tier for D. Could you tell me anything about our destination? The island of Tiafredi. It is a magnificent place. Wild. Spared from your wars and your mines for now. The natives have a relationship with their land and consider it sacred. They're a very friendly people, welcoming. That will appear to you strangely familiar. I've also heard that there are what? many exotic creatures, some enormous. But I wouldn't know what else to tell that sounds you. Sounds exciting. I've never strayed far from the ports. Uh, okay. Be back soon, Captain. We need to have a word with that people smuggler the sailor mentioned. He's a captain, Kurt, like yourself. And in order to interrogate the smuggler, we'll need to find a way into his jail. Uh, that seems exciting. Goodness. Um
I don't know. Let's see if we can find the... Hello. Who are you? I still don't see Constantine at your side. Oh, right. That's you. I hope he hasn't been the victim of any foul play. <laughs> don't worry. We'll find him in time for departure. Yes, which will probably be in, like, so. another three weeks. Uh, will you be in need of my help in any way? Uh, no, but I want to ask you about your future role on the island, because it's there. What will be your official title on Tier 3 d Or are you just here to keep an eye on us? Come now, don't be ridiculous. I'm coming in the capacity of official advisor, nothing more. But His Highness has also asked me to report to him on certain strategic observations. I am therefore required to take note of all events. Uh, chart the island and its resources mm -hmm. and also obtain as much knowledge as possible concerning the more dangerous creatures of the island your help will be extremely valuable to me i've no longer the legs of an adventurer <laughs> it's always a privilege to help master i need to be leaving i have quite a few things to do before we raise anchor. yeah it's gonna take me about three weeks i'm i'm calling it now <laughs> What's this? Loot? Woohoo, woohoo, woohoo. Right, where am I? I probably need to go back this way. Still getting used to this map. Okay. Um the hiding place for this smuggler is filthy. But perhaps we'll discover some useful information. Perhaps. Perhaps we will. Uh, hello. Good day. Someone told me that you were a friend of Jonas, the young cabin boy who has gone missing. That's right, yeah. Are you looking for him? Yes. yes. Your captain asked me to go and find him. Happy to hear he's taking the disappearance seriously. What can I do for you? So it's like an actual disappearance. Um, when did okay. you last see him? Two days ago, in the evening. We went to have a drink in the tavern. Jonas, Lauro, and myself. Did anything seem out of the ordinary? Was he troubled? Maybe a tad troubled. Like he was somewhere else. Why would that be? Give me your best guess. Boy, I haven't the faintest idea. Okay. Habitual comings and what goings. What does Jonas do in his free time? When you're on land? He just hangs around here or there. You know the cabin boys don't have half a sailor's wages. And when evening comes, we usually go down the tavern with good old Lauro. Did he ever have one too many? Never. He sips his pint like it was bad medicine. One drink lasts him the whole night. Okay. Friends? Does he know anyone in Serene? No one, far as I know. Enemies? Do you think he could have made himself any enemies? I wouldn't think that for a moment. Jonas has a good heart, and he steers clear of trouble and troublemakers. I don't know where to start with this. Do you have any idea? No. Lauro won't stop telling anyone who will lend him an ear that the boy was carried off by thugs. Well, that might I help. Believe him. I like Lauro, don't get me wrong, he's like a brother. But to be honest, he drinks a little more than he should. Okay. The itch for a drink gets us all. But to him more than others, and when you drink too much, the imagination wanders. Uh... Here, yesterday, it was me who tied one over, and I thought I heard Jonas's voice by the canal. I call back to him, as you guessed, but then nothing. Drink. It blurs the senses. Okay, well, let's ask about the captain. What do you think about Captain Vasco? He's a damn good navigator, and an excellent leader of men. He knows his craft well, in spite of being so young. How old is he? He's not seen his 25th year yet. If he keeps it up, he'll be an admiral one day. 
Okay. I need to be going. Farewell. What's this? Smuggler's Journal. I have two new clients. They want to go to Al Saad, and the Inquisitors are on their heels, which will not make my job any easier. I think I can get them onto a ship inconspicuously, but we will have to be cautious, and I hope that they will prove patient and discreet. I will hide them away in a warehouse behind the harbor office, where the Inquisitors will never dare to enter. I get to disguise myself as a knot? How fun! Oh, here's a chest. Yeah, let's equip that. This might help. Nice. I wonder if this must be like just the stuff that I... back yet. Okay. Fair enough. Now I look much fancier. That's very fancy. Anyway. I look very fancy. Uh, I should go to the right, I suppose. It's this way. This other fella I think I need to talk to about the cabin boy, Lauro, yeah. Good day, sailor. I've been told that you know the missing cabin boy well. Is that right? You talking about Jonas? You bet your stars I know him. But like I've been crying to the nine death winds. He didn't go missing, he was taken. By whom? Were you a witness to the event? Yes, I was. Even though I'd had a few tumblers in the belly, I hadn't yet lost my head. The other day, in the tavern, I saw him talking to a well-dressed man, surrounded by some other sly ruffians. And then when we left, him and I, Flavia left a little earlier, you understand? Okay. Well, those brutes were there, waiting for him. They just up and took him like that. Grabbed his arms and puff. Gone. Vanished. Why All didn't right. Intervene? I tried to, believe me, but my legs betrayed me. Wavering they were, and I fell into the gutter. He was drunk so as a skunk. To the captain. Unfortunately not. 
I know all too well what weight my words carry. Even Flavia treated me like a drunken fool. And the captain? No, not telling him that. I still have some pride left. You get me? Okay. Did Jonas seem troubled to you the night he disappeared? Maybe. For sure he wasn't his usual self. <clears throat> Do you know what was on his mind? No. No idea. Great. See, even his best friends are like, I don't know anything. Why would anyone want to snatch a mere cabin boy? How would I know? Jonas is a gentle boy who keeps his head down. <sighs> you think my story is nothing but mist too, don't you? <sighs> it's just that I can't imagine a gang of thugs hoping to get a ransom for a cabin boy. Did anyone else see the kidnapping? There was still a small crowd in the tavern. But outside, I seem to recall that regular being there. We play cards with him from time to time. Kind of fellow who plays from morning to night time to be that skilled. But now and again he comes out. When nature calls, you know. I kind of remember his face being there. Okay. And um, what do you think about the captain? What do you think about Captain Basco? He's a just man. Who knows his knots. He's well appreciated. He knows his knots. It's a pity that he has a much heart for lass now and again. Always seems unhappy, our captain. Uh-oh. He's a sad man. Thank you, Lauro. I need to be going. Strange He's young and handsome and Someone sad. Right here. I can feel it. We need to lift the veil on this. Yeah, something's gone wrong here. But also, it's nice to know that the captain is uh, young, handsome, and sad. Okay. Let's keep investigating. Uh, and greed follow quests can usually be completed in several different ways. Desarde has more than one string to, hey, her bow, cunning, persuasion, intuition, corruption, creating items from the crafting table will be some of the means available to you to reach your goals. To improve in these areas, spend points in the corresponding talent tree or wear equipment that offers bonuses. Threats and combat are also options when your enemies are not receptive to your talents. Okay. It's a good primer. This side quest is making for a good primer on, like, you know, different ways to deal with things. Good day, Tavern Keeper. Good day to you. What is your pleasure? Questions today. Questions. I am looking for a nought. A young cabin boy who has been missing roll call for two days now. A nought, you say? That's not a lot to go on. I know. There are quite a few that come to my tavern. According to one of his fellows, he would have been taken right here. A kid <clears throat> in my establishment. You surely jest. At least I hope you do. I would have noticed. That doesn't hold water. Hmm. Someone told me about one of your faithful clients. A big gambler, it would seem. I see. An able bodied man passes his time lightening the pouches of sailors coming through. Where might I find him at this time? Here. He would never give away his chair at his table. Anything else? Mm. Let's ask about everything. How is business everything we can place? ask. It's picking up. We've not seen many new customers, but of late, things are looking better. The Malachor and the neighboring walls have dampened commerce. The epidemic still rages. But the possibility of finding a cure on that island has given people something to hope for. Now that we have a city there, quite a few seafarers come by to spend their wages. Okay. Has the Malachor really put a damper on your business? <laughs> More than a damper. They were soaked. When the sickness oh, I see. Malachor is the name they gave to the plague. Okay. 
people stopped going out of their homes. They were afraid. I was close to closing shop, I tell you. And then, thankfully, the alchemists of the bridge said that you couldn't just catch it like that. People are still distrustful, as is their nature, but they are leaving home again. It's a start. I also lost quite a few regular customers. Dead or too scared to venture back. Oh, but that's nothing new to you. <laughs> the city would have sunk in the water if not for trade with the new isle. With all these sailors coming and going, you must have heard some stories about Tear for D. Right. Even stories that my heaviest drinkers would have trouble believing. Well, that's Except how that goes sometimes. Trees live there. Dragons and gigantic creatures. Sounds exciting. Treasure abounds under every rock. And the source of eternal life is hidden somewhere there. <laughs> Last night, some noughts even told me they brought back one of those giant beasts into the port. Ah, but you know the kind. If you ask my opinion, the drink was fueling their imaginations. Okay. Let's ask about Constantine while we're here. I'm looking for my cousin. His name is Constantine. I believe he was intent on celebrating his departure last night. There was indeed a party here last night, but it ended badly. Whatever do you mean? A brawl broke out. My tavern was shattered, and no one's paid for the damages. I'm sorry. Amongst the rebel rousers, did there happen to be a young man? Twenty years of age, hair down to his neck, light brown, blue eyes, quite the talker? I don't believe it. Of course he was there. He's the man that started the fight. Oh, boy. I hope you've come to reimburse me. Don't count on me to help you if that's not the case. <sighs> what kind of damage are we talking Great. about exactly? A good half of my furniture was broken into firewood. I piled up the lot over there. Let me take a look. Perhaps it can be repaired. If you can fix it, I'll be obliged. If not, you'll need to pay. Great. Well, right now I have neither money uh, nor crafting supplies. This furniture is in terrible condition. The fight must have been extremely violent. It looks as if it's fixable. I've seen worse. We'll need to build some metal dowels, but once done, we can make them like new. I could repair this if I had some metal dowels. Okay. How do I get metal dowels? Uh, am I allowed to pick that up without, like, alerting everyone that I'm stealing? Anyway, this guy. Who are you? I don't recognize you. Am I in your debt? No, have no fear about that. It's for a different reason that I'm here. I'm looking for a nought that disappeared two days ago after visiting this establishment. A young cabin boy. Two members of his crew <clears throat> accompanied him. Yes, that does ring a bell. I've played with the three of them. Oh, good. What can you tell me about the boy? How was he that night? He seemed rather nervous, as if he was worried about something. Didn't feel like playing, that I remember. And he must have been right to be nervous, if he's disappeared. Okay, so what happened? Tell me what happened that evening. A rich merchant came in, with a band of strong arms. The kind of men you can round up for a few coins, if you catch my drift. They exchanged words with the cabin boy. The kid was defensive, not sitting pretty. And then they finally left. And after that? It just so happens that I did go out for a breather. I needed some fresh air. And I think I might well have seen those same men grab him. But that was none of my business. I wouldn't have thought that they were kidnapping him, if that's what it was. They weren't particularly rough with him. Hmm. Who was the rich merchant, do you think? A jilted lover? A moneylender? 
No, my lady, you're in luck. It so happens that I know the man. Oh, good. It was Sir Fontaine, that merchant. Where can I find him? He has a house in the wealthy boroughs, just off the canal. A stone's throw from the Tulema embassy. Thank you. You've been immensely helpful. This man is completely owned by his love for the game. Do you think we can trust him? What would he gain from lying? I have no idea. But what would any wealthy merchant gain from holding a penniless child? I don't know. I suppose we'll probably have to go find out. Opportunity. Your time is precious in these dark hours. But what you are about to discover. Here is the house. Perhaps we can find some answers here. Might I help you, my lady? I would like to have a word with Sir Fontaine. He is absent, but the lady of the house could certainly receive you. Enter, please. Okay. I assume... We're looking at upstairs. Hi. Oh, I know you. I've seen you at court. Ah! You are Lady de Sade. Uh -huh. And to what do I owe the honor of your visit, Excellency? I would like to have a word with your husband. He is not here. But perhaps I could be of help. It concerns a delicate matter. We are looking for a missing cabin boy. According uh... to witnesses. He had an argument with your husband before being taken. I see. I am afraid that you have been misled. You seem to have come to the wrong conclusion. The cabin boy you speak of was not taken. He has simply returned home. Excuse me, but I'm not sure I understand. Don't you see, Your Excellency? We got our son back. Oh? I am very surprised. Several witnesses confirm that your son had a fight with your husband and that his men escorted him from the tavern using force if he had joined your husband willingly witnesses in a tavern and you choose to believe these drunkards over a respectable family <laughs> these witnesses are all in agreement there are several of them and it is their testimonies that have led me to your doorstep my son was probably shocked to have found us my or he didn't want to come back might home have simply had to carry him a gesture that your drunkards must have misunderstood. Mm. What was your son doing on a nought ship? Why would they have taken him? It is what they do. Through pacts and contracts, they steal away young children from their mothers. Mm. What are you talking about? That yeah, doesn't sound... That a legate would know these things. But it is true that you are young and inexperienced. It seems that you have been protected from the turpitudes of our own nation and their terrible allies. This horrible, constant ransoming that they put us through. Uh? But I will not say another word. You will have no trouble verifying the details now that you know what to look for. Where might I find your son now? I cannot say, Excellency. You must understand why. Until the Noughts have set sail, we live in fear they will take him back from us. This pact... It sounds like some fear-inducing story. The Noughts wouldn't be the first to recruit through dubious means. Eh. Yeah. Excuse me, madam, but I haven't quite finished my inquiries You're yet. You're right. If you would be so courteous, I would like you to leave. I have told you all that I have to say. Okay. With respect, my lady. She doesn't want to talk anymore. All right. Huh. All right. The plot thickens. Well,
Uh, so I think I have to find the captain again, yes. Pretty sure that NPC just looked at my butt, which is fine. They can look at my butt if they want. Captain, milady, we were given orders to wait here with the merchandise. Oh, you're going to have to wait. We need to find a way to clear the access to the warehouse. Yeah, I wasn't here for that. Um, I have to talk to the captain again, I think, yes. Um, uh, Madam? You still haven't found your cousin. As you well know, I know. You cannot leave without him. I know. Have no fear. I will bring him back in time to make our scheduled departure. Is everything ready? I'm still without news of my cabin boy. But we will have to do without. <sighs> right. I spoke with a woman who told me she was the mother of the cabin boy. She claims that her son was taken from her. Taken? Her son is sea gifted. His parents were required to give him up to honor the terms of a contract. A contract? But what kind of contract are we speaking of? A commercial contract. Hmm. In exchange for services rendered by the Nords, some families seed more than gold. In some cases, nations even trade some of their subjects before they're born. I wouldn't be able to tell you the condition of Jonas's contract. I didn't even know he was originally from Serene. But what I can tell you is the young man hasn't seen his parents since he was a small child. And ever since, he's been a naught. Our ships are his home. And we are his only family. Alright. Be back soon, Captain. You see anyone else who might be able to help us? Anyone who's not a naught? Sir de Corsillon is a veritable well of scientific knowledge. He could tell us a little more. Alrighty. This is quite the quest chain, I gotta admit. But I still don't see Constantine. I this know. Night. I hope he hasn't been the victim of any foul blood. We'll figure it out, don't, don't worry. worry. We'll find him in time <laughs> for departure. I certainly hope so. Uh, would you be in need of my help in any way? Yes, I would, in fact. I've had a word with Lady Fontaine. You must know her. That rich family that lives near the docks. She told me a strange story about her son who was a cabin boy on our ship. She said that he was taken when he was a child due to some contract with the Nords. Who was a cabin boy? Do you mean he's no longer one? They took him back to bring him home. Well, that is very unpleasant news to Sade. We need to do all we can to bring the boy back to his ship. Since time immemorial, there's always been a certain price to pay for the services of the Norts. Children born on their ships belong to them. It's the rule of the sea. But certain contracts are so important that they also require children to be offered in exchange. From time to time, the congregation has passed such accord. And certain noble families had to give their children up. What Are you sucks? telling me that the Fontaines lost their son in an agreement signed between my uncle and the Norts? Um, no. That pact ended a long time ago. This cabin boy couldn't have been a part of that contract. But Sir Fontaine has made a fortune trading with the Alliance. Uh, uh, via ships. Do you mean he would have offered up his own son in exchange for wealth? Well, he probably did it before the birth of the child and regretted it afterwards. But that is of little importance. What no take back sees is what you're is telling me. Bring the boy back to the Norts as quickly as possible. Breaking a contract with the seafarers has always cost us dearly. 
Our nation could feel it in its coffers. I will do my best. The father selling his own son for a few boat rides. For ugly, that is ugly. Lady Fontaine didn't seem to have any knowledge of that detail. That could be of use to us. Interesting. So, basically, I can go back to Lady Fontaine with the news that her husband made this deal behind her back, probably. And that might be leverage to get her to tell me where Jonas is. I could see that. I could see that. But I think I'm going to leave it here for now. Um, as always, if you like what you see, please like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Later.